Founded in the early 19th century, Huntsville, Texas was originally established as a Native American trading post. Today, however, Huntsville is home to the Texas State Penitentiary, a body farm, as well as several cemeteries. Now, thanks to the Cat Cafe, which has partnered with Historic Tours of Texas to give the official Haunted Huntsville walking tour, we have exclusive access to just a few of the many stories of Huntsville's haunted history. So Gail, we went upstairs earlier, we saw a little bit of the cells. Can you tell us you know, anything about Tom and his pillow specifically? Yes, I can. So we have had numerous paranormal investigation teams come through. Paranormal Road Trip, a week before they reached out, Rachel had gotten a message one night when she was sleeping about a man named Tom wanting a pillow. So she came back a week later, this was back in July, and she brought a pillow with her and she looked at Ebeth and said, Tom told me he wanted a pillow. So we took it around all the cells. We have bells hanging up in the cells where we ask them questions and they'll swing the bells. And we went into each cell and we asked, is this your cell? And when we got to this back corner cell right on the other side of this door, the bells went wild. So we know that Tom is in that cell, but Tom's pillow has had a head imprint on it a couple of times. He loves that pillow. And just to clarify, no one is allowed up there. No, I'm, the only you know. people allowed up there are Ebeth, Kat, myself, uh, people that get express permission, so the paranormal investigation team, and then y'all. We, it's closed off to the public. We have rules in our lease about it, and we just want everybody to be safe, so. So this is a niche in time. It's run by Mrs. Nicheman. So can you tell me a, a little bit about the significance of this on the Huntsville Haunted Walking Tour? Of course. So this is a story from Mrs. Nishman herself. She was working at the front counter, which is right on the other side of this mannequin. And in the very, very back, there is this tiny little bathroom that does not have any windows in it. It's all interior facing. And a customer had walked in one day asking, hey, can I use the restroom? She said, of course. He goes back and she doesn't hear from him for a while. A little bit a little bit of time passed, you know, she's going throughout her day. She realized he never came up. So she goes back worried that maybe he had hurt himself. She knocks on the door and there isn't a response. That really, really worried her. So she tried the door. The door was locked. Now the lock can only be locked from the inside. There's no way to lock it from the outside. So she went ahead and she called the cops. And when they arrived, they opened the door and nobody was inside of the back. Now, we don't know, like I said, there's no way for them to lock the door from the outside and there's no way for them to get out of the bathroom. So, I don't know. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> okay, so right now we are at the ruins on the corner of 11th and Sam Ave. These bricks, are rumored to be bricks from the original Prison City Rodeo Stadium. They were put here by Linda Pease and Richard Hawes. Richard Hawes is the artist that, paint, that painted all of the murals around the town, and Linda Pease was a woman who sought to beautify them. But these bricks have seen artists such as Johnny Cash, George Strait, and Dolly Parton. You think ruins, you think the Mayans, you think, you know, fallen empires, but this has you know, a very rich history of its own. It does. I would argue that the Prison City Rodeos were an empire themselves, but I'll tell you more about that on the tour. All right, so we are at the back of the Antique Mall. There's an urban legend. Yellow fever swept through Huntsville in the 1800s. It killed about 10% of Huntsville's population. And when you have that many people dead, you have to have somewhere to store the bodies, right? Right. Rumor has it that the bodies were stored on the loading dock that we are standing on right now. So it's very possible that when people start taking pictures back here and see little white light anomalies that are very commonly associated with ghosts. Um, our very own Margaret Houston was said to be kept back here. We're here for the second part of the antique mall story. Can you please continue? If you dare. <laughs> of course, this is my absolute favorite story on the tour. It's our spookiest story yet. So with the antique mall having multiple floors, there's multiple stories coming out of each floor. But this one has to do with the second floor. 
so two women were shopping, you know, looking for an antique. And while they were up there, the floor started to shake and tremble and the carpet started to buckle underneath them. Texas is on fault lines, so their first thought was earthquake. So they run downstairs to the front desk and they ask the lady, do you, did you feel that? Are, are we okay? Is it an earthquake? And the lady said, well, I don't, I don't know. I didn't feel anything. It might've been the building settling. And the women, a little shaken up, a little freaked out. They went ahead and left. And when a worker went upstairs a little bit later, she looked down at the carpet and the carpet was all scrunched up and as if the floor had started pushing together. So walking on a carpet can't do that. And a carpet shouldn't be able to scrunch up like that. So there's very obviously some weird forces going on here. And that's not even half of the stories that are here. Well, now I'm really spooked and freaked out. But I do want to thank you for telling us all about Huntsville and its hauntedness and for taking us on the haunted Huntsville walking tour. No problem. Thank you for joining us on the Haunted Huntsville Walking Tour by Cat Cafe. Each tour is going to be $45 starting on Friday the 13th, which is a lovely time to start, going straight through Halloween every weekend, all the time during Halloween. Plus some witching hours. Plus the witching hours. Those are going to sell out fast. And go to our website, hauntedhuntsville.com, to purchase tickets. It is a double tour for $45. You get a tour with not only our walking tour, but then you get to go on a luxury air-conditioned bus to see the remainder of Huntsville with the Crim Reaper. You get one free alcoholic beverage if you're an adult or one non-alcoholic beverage for everybody else. This is amazing, but made up country wines. No grapes were harmed in the making of this wine. It's all fruit based. So thank you, Gail, for leading a wonderful tour. Thank you, Cedric, for being a wonderful guest. And cheers!